The Gilcrease Museum is home to thousands of items telling the great American story. That includes a new exhibit with art you can wear. The Native American bolo tie exhibition showcases both vintage and contemporary styles of the art form, along with its history. In this particular exhibit, we have over 300 bolo ties from all over the world, uh, but primarily from the American Southwest. Gilcrease Executive Director James Pepper Henry says there's some debate about where the bolo tie came from, possibly a Latin-style whip, scarf slides, or hat ties. And from that, the bolo tie evolved and really was kind of a novelty item uh, up until the 1940s, 1950s, and then it really took off as an art form. And made popular back in the day by TV stars like Roy Rogers and Westerns such as The Cisco Kid and Hopalong Cassidy. The bolo ties here are made primarily by artists from different Native American tribes, each with their own style. So these are from the Hopi tribe. Yes, the Hopi have a distinctive style of, of design for their bolo ties. And you can see there's an overlay, and that's a couple layers of silver on top of each other. And the under layer is, has been oxidized. Originally, the bolo was called the bola and started out relatively small. Over the years, it became more elaborate, as did the dongles, which are the end pieces. They, too, vary in style and size. What's great about this exhibition it really shows the, the breadth and depth of bolo ties. And really, this talks about a truly American art form. You'll see all of it here, lining the walls in silver, gold, turquoise, and coral. This is one of my favorite bolo ties right here. This is actually a silver seed pot, and seed pots are, are little curio items um, uh, that have really become an art form in and of themselves. In art and fashion, the bolo tie remains an iconic symbol of the West. At the Gilcrease Museum in Tulsa, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma.